Alrighty, so I wasn't expecting them so soon, actually, but uh, just 10 minutes ago, I seen that they tweeted out uh, that, no, not that, uh, that they, uh, they released the dev notes for JP, so out of curiosity, I checked, and they are out for global already, so they're getting a lot better about, I, I assume they gave them to them ahead of time and translated them because they don't normally do that but either way uh if you're new to the channel or anything before we start feel free to subscribe uh but yeah let's hop into this thing so greetings this is director Koo of the seven deadly sins grant ross how have you been knights oh, i'm all right autumn is approaching as we look at this uh the clear skies and the fallen leaves on the streets piled up one by one <laughs> Okay, really setting the tone here. Uh, the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross has surpassed 50 million downloads worldwide thanks to the support of our knights, and a festival is in full swing to commemorate the moment. We firmly believe that this result... Uh, this is a result that was achieved thanks to the love and support of our knights. Uh, as many of our knights from all over the world take on the journey with us, our, develop er, our dev team has found a determination to provide the quality of service our knights have appreciated or have appreciated from the seven deadly sins grand cross okay uh once again we would like to thank all of our knights who have been with us to uh enjoy the game so very cool it's been three years at this point pretty much so uh well i guess global hasn't been out for three years just yet but uh we're getting there it's uh it'll be what march march will be the global three-year anniversary so kind of crazy in this dev note, we will be covering the upcoming event rewards and improvements being discussed based on the opinions of the Knights. Now let's dive into the dev notes. The 2022 marks the 10th anniversary of the Seven Deadly Sins original series, the IP uh, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross is based on. Alrighty. <laughs> As we celebrate the anniversary of the original series, we would like to show our gratitude for your generous support of 50 million downloads by providing the our, our modest gift of 100 diamonds will be provided to all knights through a check-in reward event with the uh, or which will be added in uh, the festival. So it looks like we're going to be getting an additional 100 gems, which is very, very lovely. I cannot complain about that whatsoever. Uh, not the biggest reward we've ever had, but I mean, hey, 100 gems is 100 gems, so you got to take it where you can get it. All right. We hope this small gift will help you in your or on your adventures and further enjoy the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross and celebrate the 10th anniversary of the original series. In addition to the check-in reward, let us share with you the second half of the uh, 50 million download celebration. In the latter part of the festival, we will be releasing a Halloween seasonal update as a special event in October. I completely forgot that because JP is technically a week ahead of us, um... They will be getting their banner on Thursday, which means we'll get it on next Tuesday, uh, which is the 18th, which means it's, it's going to be like right midway through October. The next banner that we'll get after that is on November 1st. So I'm assuming this next banner is going to be our Halloween banner. So kind of interested to see who it is. I'm hoping there's a pretty decent amount of seasonal units on here because people still need like Zanary and hopefully... Hopefully Summer Deanne is on the banner. I know that might be asking for too much, but Summer Deanne would be really nice for people to help with OG Demon and stuff, so that would be cool. Uh, it's already our fourth Halloween since we first started the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross to our nights. The upcoming Halloween seasonal update will feature a special story that will blend well with the occasion through a world event. Okay, so world event i'm assuming that's going to be one of those like it's like a meter that everybody that plays the game sort of contributes to and we get rewards whenever it finishes or whatever so that'll be cool uh normally global ends up getting through it pretty quickly compared like because there's so many more players on the global version but um we hope you look forward to the special story as it was developed to provide a slightly different experience from the battle oriented stories with existing heroes Okay, kind of interested in that then. They're trying to do something a little bit more different. Uh, next, we will deliver our planned improvement that is currently being discussed based on the opinions sent by our knights regarding the recent update. Simultaneous upper tier demon match clear event. That's a mouthful. Many of our knights have sent favorable reviews for the function of clearing the upper tier of death matches for both Belmoth and original demons simultaneously. This power-up event is currently being held as a part of the 50 million download celebration festival uh, event, and we have found that many knights, or many of you, are or of you participate in the death matches using the particular function. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit. The only thing I have to say negatively about it is like. 
it's it's really hard for me to get a partner like a lot of the times like if i click on somebody they're already being invited or they're already in the middle of whatever it is or i'm late to the invite or whatever um so like when i'm hosting it's really hard for me to get a partner in without them already being invited by somebody else and everything and it can take me like anywhere from like five to ten minutes to find a partner but on the other hand i'm literally clearing all three of them at the same time so i guess it makes up for the time difference uh so it's not that big of a deal but it is kind of annoying having to sit there and like click the refresh button over and over and over again um we believe the favorable feedback uh stems from the reduce or from reducing the burden of our knights from uh, acquiring growth materials as death matches are directly linked to limit breaking heroes we were aware of our knights wish to further reduce the burden to apply the simultaneous clear function to the upper tier demon or death matches uh, in addition to the previously applied demonic beast the simultaneous clear of death matches which initially aimed to reduce the burden of participating in the regular contents to focus on event related contents however as the importance for regular content like the demonic beast battle and underground labyrinth has increased we felt that we should include the upper tier of deathmatch battles to the simultaneously clear uh, clear function Therefore, we are in the discussion to implement the upper tier as an ongoing function with the basis of our knight's uh, with the basis of our knight's play patterns and indicators. So they're thinking about just making it a regular part of the game, like they did with the original one, where it was the original three. So that is completely fine with me, honestly. I mean, it's a really great function. <laughs> Uh, somebody did make a good point whenever I made a video about it though and they said that they were hoping that it stayed at, as an event and I know that sounds kind of controversial but he was saying that uh, if you have it as an event that they do pretty regularly you'll feel more compelled to do it uh, more often whereas if it's just a regular function in the game you're probably not going to be using it nearly as much um, and I can definitely understand that like you know you, you want to take advantage of something while you can whereas if it's just a regular function you kind of take it for granted and sort of like get lazy with it and I, I can get that but honestly if it's a regular part of the game I'll completely accept that as well uh, we are cautiously reviewing the plan in consideration of our knights, especially those who participate in the deathmatches through invitations, since the upper tier uh, deathmatch is considered a core content. We will further inform you on this plan throughout the following dev note. Um, final boss, the four archangels. Oh boy, so I'm assuming we're going to see... <laughs> the next character maybe or maybe they'll announce it i'm not too sure many of our knights also showed high interest in the final boss the four archangel season a content which we uh, have not updated in a while in particular we received various opinions on the challenge difficulty that was added to this season and the rest uh, restructured final boss exchange shop uh, among the opinions we received feedback which appreciated the content while other knights showed signs of disappointments so I definitely think that the coin, the shop is ridiculous. Like I really want them to stop adding daily limits to everything. Like I just let me play the content when I feel like playing it and get it over with, because I don't feel like sitting there every single day and having to run this thing, you know, I mean, obviously I guess it's not that bad with, with the final boss stuff because you can run it as many times as you want and then you just have to remember to go to the shop or whatever. But I don't know, sometimes I get forgetful and stuff like that. I wish they would just remove the daily limit. That's the only thing that I really hate. Plus, I feel like with some content, they give you a ton of materials per run and then they just jack up the price on everything. So it's literally the exact same as if they gave you a little bit, but then it was reduced price and it just, it. I don't know. I wish they would be more consistent with the pricing on stuff, uh, but I don't know, challenge difficulty was kind of okay. The, the damage cap was really annoying, but other than that, I mean, it was it was a cool final boss, I guess. First of all, uh, many of our knights voiced that they their thoughts that it was good to enjoy the challenge of upcoming with tactics and the gameplay that suits the reputation of the early final boss battles with the addition of the challenge difficulty level. This was feedback that we were uh, rather relieved to see since we were focused on providing the challenge that matched uh, the growth of our knights. In addition, we received positive feedback on the restructuring of the uh, exchange shop, uh, which separated between your level of growth. We were grateful to receive such feedback since this change was introduced or intended to motivate our knights to challenge higher difficulties. Um, I know that some people didn't like that as much. You could still technically, you know, trade up to the challenge points or whatever if you needed to and still get the Sariel final boss outfit or whatever it was, like the piece that was locked in the challenge shop. But um, 
I don't know. I, I wasn't a, a big fan of that, if I'm being completely honest. But it is what it is. Like I would hate. I, I hate that some of the shop is locked behind you know, only being able to do higher tier content, which I mean, I understand you want to reward players who can do that content, but uh, I mean, just being just being able to get more of the, the currency and everything and get the shop over with faster is more than good for me personally, but I, I get it. It's whatever. Uh, we are also thankful for your consistent show of appreciation with the Final Boss exclusive costume designs. Yeah, but honestly, Saria was a banger. A great outfit. Some of our knights have uh, hoped to see the four Archangel system to be implemented with the previous Final Boss in rerun. However, this was the first rebuild of the, fi uh, the, fir the Final Boss battle. We also received many opinions that expressed disappointment or need for improvements, most of which were related to the Final Boss Exchange Shop and the repetitive clearing uh, required to exchange for all of the Final Boss Exchange Shop rewards was rather exhausting. I completely agree with that. I understand, you know, it's they're, they're a game developer. They want you to play the game as much as possible in one day. Like, that's their goal is to keep you playing the game, keep you on the game. But, uh, you know, this isn't... This is a game that you're pretty much going to be playing every day regardless. Like, you have dailies, you have, you know, stuff that you have to do each day if you want to consistently play the game. So don't don't make the, the extra events and stuff like that that are supposed to be, like, fun and, like, you know, extra rewards and stuff like that. Don't make it really tedious and annoying to play because then it just... It, it makes you not want to play the game every day. Like, it makes you want to take a break from the game sometimes because it's so annoying. So, I don't know. If they could reduce that, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> There was also feedback that it was difficult to distinguish the exclusive materials of the separated uh, Final Boss Exchange Shop, where knights could miss acquiring essential rewards. We feel that this is a new approach of restructuring the Exchange Shop and was not accessible enough for our knights. It's understandable. The second season of the next Final Boss Archangels is scheduled to be updated in November, which is next month. At the time of the new season's update, we will... Prepare to improve upon the opinions and inconveniences sent by our knights as much as possible. Um, another special update for our knights. We are currently preparing to release a full version of the original soundtrack for Grand Cross this October. Okay. The previously released OSTs in short versions to celebrate the anniversary of Ragnarok and Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross have been produced in full versions. We are preparing to release one song per week under the name... Grand Cross Music Console, or GMC in short, um, on a special event page and our official YouTube channel. We are also preparing an event with all of the knights uh, of our game from all over the world, so stay tuned for more details with continued support. We're also preparing an event with all knights of our game from all over the world. That sounds ominous I, that sounds interesting i don't know maybe i, I don't i don't want to like jump to conclusions but that might be like another collab or something maybe i don't know or just some sort of i don't know unification i don't know who knows this nev note has been shared uh with the direction on additional event rewards and content improvements we will bring you more news in the next dev note which our knights will be excited to read about uh, once again, we would like to thank you for 50 million nights around the world for enjoying and supporting Grand Cross, and we hope you will be uh, or will continue to find joy in our game. We will also work hard to uh, continue improving the game. Always thank you. So, honestly, not a whole lot here, if I'm being completely fair. Like, I mean, I don't know. They they talked about, you know, how the final boss went. That's, that's fair. Making this a, a consistent you know part of the game instead of just an event is pretty cool uh i kind of wish they would have gave given more details maybe about like actual upcoming stuff um even if it was even if they were to like name drop and be like oh like we're coming out with a new this character or something like that that at least gives you a little bit of hype being like oh whoa like new character um, like, obviously, they don't have to give away, like, what their skills do or anything like that or, you know, what attribute it is or anything. Like, all of that can be, you know, revealed whenever the character is shown. But, uh, I don't know. Just saying, like, oh, there's a new Halloween seasonal update coming out. Like, I mean, it's October. You'd, you'd kind of expect that, I guess. I don't know. Just something a little bit more interesting, kind of, like, I feel like the reason why you would want to read the dev notes is for some insight on how developing the game is going and some upcoming stuff. But, uh... I mean, basically, all we got from this was, hey, we're, you know, we're making this a consistent thing. Uh, the new new Archangels will be a little bit different. We're taking player feedback. It's in November. So, I don't know. And, I mean, this, 
OSTs thing is cool, I guess, but to be honest, like that's only going to interest like 5% of the people who play the game, maybe less. So I don't know. Uh, could be better dev note, got to be honest. This is probably one of the weaker ones, uh, at least with some of the other ones. They give like statistics on how stuff's going and different things like that. But I mean, we get 100 free diamonds, which is definitely cool. That's that's awesome. Uh, obviously, we're getting a Halloween update. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave, uh, I don't know, comments or feedback or uh, I don't know what you're interested in seeing or how you felt about this dev note down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.